Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to extract smaller areas from a larger shape file using an ArcGIS, right? Good. So now, maybe you want to create a study area map or maybe you want to do some other stuff in your app map and then you have a composite shape file like this and you just need um, a part of it, maybe Kaduna, Kano, reverse or any other states right good so we are going to show you different methods now to achieve that so the first thing is that um we can rightly use what the select um feature yeah right good it's actually on that tool so you right click on this other space there and then you turn on your tools right good so if you can't find it here although most of the times it's always there so you click on this and then you select any of the parts you need in the composite or in the larger shape file that you want to what you want to export right good so now let's assume that um, we are exporting um, river state right so we have selected it you can see the colors have changed right good so we still come down to the layer we right click and then we can come to selection now under selection there is a tool here create layer from selected features right good so it's it creates a layer um, a new layer containing the selected feature however we just want to save it to um, a directory that we can always get back to maybe directory that we define by ourselves otherwise we can just what create layer from selected feature so that's one method or we still come down to data and then export data right then we export what the selected features right good now this layer source data then the output what feature class that's how or maybe where we want it to be what to be outputted so you look through the directory to see if it is actually okay by you where it is if it is not you what you browse good so we have what um shp that's where we want to what um store our output so we can just leave it as um maybe let's just call this um, reverse right good so this is another method you can see what the um, save as type it's a shape file if you click the drop down you can select any other um format you want let's leave it as um, this shape file then we click on save okay now do you want to add the exported data to the map as layer so if we put out this we are going to see what just um the zoom to layer we are going to see what just the the smaller parts that we have exported right good and then we can also use another method let's see if we can create an expression that um will be used them um, to um export or let's say to select the data we need so good so we come down to the um app toolbox we go to the analysis to extract and then we click on select right good our input will be the larger data and then it has by default given us what um the output feature class now the expression was what i was talking about it's actually optional but um, it can help you an sql expression used to select a subset of features right good so we click on that so uh, remember that from our attributes table we okay maybe we didn't check let's come down to the attributes table to confirm something um open attributes table right good now we have what name underscore one that's the field that gives the names of different um, states right good so yours might be different so you know that um, field on your attribute table or let's say under your attribute table that what gives you that um, unique values that you can use to select so now let's come back the input is still this then the default um, feature class output feature class now the expression so we now see name underscore one equal to if you can remember all the values that are there you get the unique values from here then you can just um, select maybe scroll through we are looking at what reverse it right good so you verify the expression that um, you have written it's actually verified so you can click on ok 
then OK, and finally OK. So you can see the selection process is complete. We can decide to be closing out these other ones. Remember, we add the first one to be reverse, and then we also add this one to be um, underscore select to right. So if we put this one out as well, we can put back the first one that we selected alongside this and you can see the colors are just different but they are the same results so we have shown you different methods on how to what have a subset um, selection right good how to extract them um, um, smaller areas from a larger shape file in what in um, RGS, right good so thanks for coming to class we open we have provided solution to this particular GIS or solving related problem we are going to see you on the next one. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.